a gas of volume 10 cc is kept in a vessel at pressure 10 raised to 4 pascal maintain at temperature 24 degree celsius if not the pressure is increased to 10 raised to 5 pascal keeping the temperature constant then the volume of the gas becomes so we know that p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 at constant temperature t so 10 raised to 4 is the pressure and the volume is 100 cc so at 10 raised to 5 what will be the volume v2 so on cross multiplying we get v2 is equal to 10 cc so option a is the correct answer equal volumes of two gases which do not react together enclosed in separate vessels their pressure at 10 mm and 400 mm respectively if the two vessels are joined together then what will be the pressure of the resulting mixture when the temperature remaining constant so when two vessels are joined together the volume will be doubled hence the effective pressure will be halved so effective pressure is equal to p1 plus p2 upon 2 so 100 plus 400 divided by 2 which is equal to 250 mm of hg so option d is the correct answer if the average velocity of nitrogen molecule is 0.3 meter per second at 27 degrees celsius then the velocity of point 6 meter per second at what temperature so we know that v rms is equal to root of 3 rt upon m so v rms is directly proportional to the root of t therefore v1 b v and t1 is 300 kelvin v2 is equal to 2 v as volume is double so we have to find t2 therefore v1 upon v2 is equal to root of t1 upon t2 squaring both sides we get v upon 2 v the whole square which is equal to 300 upon t2 therefore t2 is equal to 300 into 4 this comes out to be 1200 kelvin so option a is the correct answer which of the following volume temperature plot represents the behavior of one mole of an ideal gas at one atmospheric pressure in the graph c we know that with the relation v1 upon v2 is equal to t1 upon t2 so volume is directly proportional to temperature so we have to find the volume 2 so in this graph we can find the volume 2 through v1 v2 is equal to v1 t2 upon t1 substituting the values v1 b 22.4 l into temperature is 373 and t1 b 273 kelvin therefore v2 is equal to 30.6 liter so option c is the correct answer the rate of diffusion of so2 and oxygen are in the ratio rate of diffusion r so2 and of r oxygen is root of molecular mass of oxygen and molecular mass of so2 so it is inversely proportional Substituting the values 32 upon 64 is equal to 1 upon root 2 which comes out to be So option A is the correct answer The root mean square speed at STP for the gases hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and HBr in the order So we know that V RMS is inversely proportional to root of M Therefore, U hydrogen is to U nitrogen, oxygen and HBr.
कैन बी वन अपॉन रूट टू इज टू वन अपॉन रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन अपॉन रूट ऑफ थर्टी टू इज टू वन अपॉन रूट ऑफ एटी वन बाई सब्सिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ द गैसेस सो वी कैन राइट दैट यू फॉर हाइड्रोजन नाइट्रोजन इज लेस देन ऑक्सीजन एंड फाइनली एच बी आर सो दिस सीक्वेंस कैन बी सीन इन ऑप्शन बी वॉट इज द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ वन ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एट फोर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेल्शियस सो वी नो दैट काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू थ्री बाई टू एन आर टी सो थ्री बाई टू इंटू वन अपॉन थर्टी टू इंटू एट पॉइंट थ्री वन फोर इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी विच कम्स आउट टू बी वन पॉइंट टू फोर इंटू टेन रेज टू टू जूल्स सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर इफ द प्रेशर एंड एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर ऑफ टू लीटर ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड आर डबल द वॉल्यूम ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वुड बी सो वी टू इज इक्वल टू पी वन वी वन अपॉन टी वन इंटू टी टू अपॉन टी टू सो प्रेशर इज डबल एंड वॉल्यूम इज टू लीटर्स टेम्परेचर इज ऑल्सो डबल सो इट कम्स आउट टू बी टू लीटर्स सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर द फॉलोइंग ग्राफ इलिस्ट्रेट्स ए डाल्टन स्लॉ बी चार्ल्स लॉ सी बॉइंस लॉ डी गेलूस एक्स लॉ सो अकॉर्डिंग टू चार्ल्स लॉ वी नो दैट वॉल्यूम इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू टेम्परेचर द इक्वेशन इज वी टी इज इक्वल टू वी जीरो प्लस वी जीरो आल्फा टी कंपेरिंग इट विथ वाई इज इक्वल टू सी प्लस एम एक्स सो दिस इक्वेशन कम्स आउट टू बी चार्ल्स लॉ ऑप्शन बी सम मास ऑफ मीथेन एंड हाइड्रोजन इज टेकन इन अ कंटेनर द पार्शल प्रेशर कॉज बाय हाइड्रोजन इज सो नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ मीथेन इज एम अपॉन सिक्सटीन एंड फॉर हाइड्रोजन इज एम अपॉन टू फ्रैक्शन ऑफ पार्शल प्रेशर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज सो हाइड्रोजन इज इक्वल टू एन एच टू प्लस एन नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ मीथेन सब्सिडिंग द वैल्यूज एम बाई टू डिवाइडेड बाय एम बाई टू प्लस एम बाय सिक्सटीन ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस वी गेट एम बाई टू डिवाइडेड बाय नाइन एम बाय सिक्सटीन सो अल्टीमेटली वी गेट एट इज टू नाइन सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर अ बबल गैस रिलीज एट द बॉटम ऑफ द लेक इंक्रीजेस to 8 times of its original volume when it reaches the surface assuming the atmospheric pressure is equivalent to pressure exerted by column of water of 10 meters height the depth of the lake is since the volume of the bubble at the bottom of the lake become 8 times it means pressure at the bottom of the lake is 8 times the pressure at the surface so pressure at the bottom is 8 times the pressure at the surface so the pressure due to the depth of the lake is 8 into 10 minus 10 which is 70 meter the change in pressure so option e is the correct answer pressure of a mixture of 4 g of oxygen and 2 g of hydrogen confined in a bulk of 1 liter at 0 degree celsius is so the number of moles of oxygen is 4 by 32 which is 0.125 and number of moles of hydrogen is 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 so total number of moles is 1 plus 0.125 1.125 therefore pressure is equal to nrt upon v n we know 1.125 is we calculated r is the universal gas constant 
temperature be 273 divided by 1 so the pressure comes out to be 25.215 atmosphere so option a is the correct answer the volume of 1 gram each of methane and ethane propane and butane was measured at 350 kelvin and one atmosphere what is the volume of the butane so volume is equal to n r t upon p n can be written as mass upon molar mass r t upon p so the mass of one gram of butane will be 1 by 58 into 0 0.082 to 350 as the temperature given one liter volume pressure is one atmosphere so the volume is 0 0.495 liter or 495 centimeter cube so option a is the correct answer in an experiment during the analysis of carbon compound 145 gram of hydrogen was collected at this much pressure and this temperature the mass of the hydrogen is nearly so pv is equal to nrt so n is equal to pv upon rt pressure is 1 into 145 volume 0 0.082 into 300 so this comes out to be 5.8 moles or 6 moles so option d is the correct answer at what temperature will the average speed of methane molecule have the same value as oxygen at 300 kelvin so average speed of methane divided by volume velocity of oxygen is equal to root of temperature of methane mass of oxygen temperature of oxygen and mass of methane which is equal to 1 so on squaring we get temperature of methane into 32 divided by 16 upon 300 which comes out to be 150 kelvin so option b is the correct answer the ratio of rate of diffusion of so2 oxygen and methane is so the rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the root of molecular mass so r so2 oxygen and r of methane is equal to 1 upon root of 64 is to 32 is to 16 which can be simplified as root of 4 is to 2 is to 1 or we can write this as 1 is to root 2 is to 2 so option a is the correct answer if some moles of oxygen diffuses in 185 cc and same mole of other gas diffuses in 45 455 cc then what is the molecular weight of the unknown gas so ro2 is equal to x upon 18 mole per second and r of unknown gas is x upon 45 mole per second therefore mass of unknown gas is equal to mass of oxygen into ro2 divided by rg the whole square 32 x by 18 into 45 divided by x the whole square so mass of unknown gas on solving will be 32 into 45 square divided by 18 square so option a is the correct answer if pressure becomes double at the same absolute temperature on 2 liter of carbon dioxide then the volume of carbon dioxide becomes so pressure becomes double so p1 upon p2 is equal to 1 upon 2 therefore v1 upon v2 is equal to p2 upon p1 which can be written as 2 upon 1 therefore 2l volume v2 is equal to 2 upon 1 therefore v2 is equal to 1 liter option d what is the relationship between the average velocity and root mean square velocity of the most probable velocity 
so the average velocity is to rms velocity is to most probable velocity is v is to u is to alpha which can be written as average as 8 rt upon pi m is to 3 rt upon m is to 2 rt upon m so alpha is to v is to u is equal to root 2 is to root 8 by pi is to root 3 which further can be written as 1 is to 1.128 is to 1.224 so option a is the correct answer the molecular weight of oxygen and so2 are 32 and 64 respectively if 1 liter of oxygen at 15 degree and 750 mm of hg pressure contains n moles the number of molecules in 2 liters of so2 under the same condition of temperature and pressure will be at same temperature and pressure equal volume have equal number of molecules if 1 liter of oxygen consists of n molecules then same temperature and pressure 1 liter of so2 will consist of n molecules so 2 liter of so2 will contain 2 n molecules so option c is the correct answer 300 ml of a gas at 27 degree celsius is cooled to minus 3 degree celsius at constant pressure the final volume is so final volume v2 is equal to t2 v1 upon t1 so 270 kelvin divided by 300 kelvin into 300 ml which comes out to be 270 ml so option c is the correct answer a gas is found to have a formula of co if its vapor density is 70 the volume of x is so the molecular weight is equal to 2 into vapor density therefore vapor density is 70 into 2 So 140 is the molecular weight. Therefore, x is equal to molecular weight upon weight of gas CO. That is carbon monoxide. So mass is 140 divided by carbon monoxide mass is carbon plus four twelve and oxygen sixteen. So this comes out to be five. option c is the correct answer as the temperature is raised from 20 degree to 40 degree celsius the average kinetic energy of neon change by a factor of which of the following the average kinetic energy is directly proportional to temperature in kelvin therefore ke2 upon ke1 is equal to t2 upon t1 So temperature is forty plus two seventy three divided by twenty plus two seventy three. So it comes out to be three one three divided by two ninety three. Option A is the correct answer. Weight of one one two mL of oxygen at NTP on liquefaction would be so two two four double zero mL of volume of oxygen is thirty two gram. So one mL. of the volume of oxygen at ntp will be 32 divided by 22400 so 112 ml of oxygen in ntp will be 32 divided by 22400 into 112 which comes out to be 0.16 gram of oxygen so option c is the correct answer a gas has a density of 2.68 gram per liter at stp identify the gas so d density is equal to mass upon volume so mass is equal to density into volume therefore mass is equal to 2.68 into 22.4 as it is ntp therefore mass comes out to be 60.03 gram so the molecular weight of cos can be calculated as 12 plus 16 plus 32 which is approximately 60 So option C is the correct answer. 4.48 liter of an ideal gas at STP requires 12 calories to raise its temperature by 15 degree at constant volume. The CP of the gas is so the number of moles of ideal gas at STP is 4.48 
डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू मोल्स वी नो दैट डेल्टा यू इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एन सी वी इंटू डेल्टा टी सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट फोर एट अपॉन ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर इंटू सी वी इंटू फिफ्टीन सो ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस वी गेट सी वी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व बाई थ्री विच इज फोर दे फोर सी पी माइनस सी वी इज इक्वल टू आर विच इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टू दे फोर सी पी इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस सी वी सो टू प्लस फोर इज सिक्स कैलरी पर मोन सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर प्रेशर एक्जर्टेड बाय वन मोल ऑफ मीथेन इज पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू फाइव लीटर कंटेनर एट थ्री हंड्रेड कैलविन यूजिंग वेंडर वॉल्स इक्वेशन is given of a and b value so the equation is p plus n square a upon v square into v minus n b n r t so p plus 2.253 divided by 0.25 into 0.25 into 0.25 minus 0.0428 given value of b and r is 0.0821 and temperature is 300 so on solving this we get p plus 36.048 equal to 118.87 therefore pressure is approximately 82.82 atmosphere so option a is the correct answer a gas deviates from an ideal behavior at a high pressure because its molecule a have kinetic energy b are bound to covalent bond c attract to one another c d shows the tindall effect so the a gas deviates from ideal behavior at a high temperature high pressure when pressure is high some attractive forces exist between the molecules of real gases when the molecule approaches the wall of the container it experiences an inward pull as a result of attract attractive force exerted by the neighboring molecule inside the vessels so there is an inward force therefore the observed pressure is less than the ideal pressure and hence the gas deviates from ideal behavior at high pressure so option c is the correct answer under what condition will a pure sample of ideal gas not only show a pressure at one atmosphere but also concentration of 1 mole per liter so pv is equal to nrt pressure is equal to nrt upon v n upon v is equal to c so p is equal to crt so t is equal to p upon cr so 1 upon 1 into 0.0821 which comes out to be 12 kelvin so option c is the correct answer 4.4 gram of gas at stp occupies a volume of 2.24 liter the gas can be so the molecular weight is equal to mrt upon pv so 4.4 into 0.082 into 273 divided by 1 into 2.24 which comes out to be 44 so the gas should be carbon dioxide co2 so option d is the correct answer